Okay, so today we have Morrissey, You Must Please Remember, and You Must Please Remember that this is the single version of the track. Uh, I did see an alternate version too, which is, I guess, a more slowed down version, um, but this one had more views, and I said, well, I guess I'll go with this one. Anyway, I apologize if you like the other one, but uh, that's what we're doing here today. Um, anyway, this is one of the B-sides from Dagenham Dave uh, from the South Paw Grammar Days around that time, and, uh, you know, almost four minutes here. Uh, intriguing title, again, You Must Please Remember. Please remember what? I guess we'll find out. So let's get into it, talk about it after, and let's go. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Here. A small boy, big ideas, you must please remember. Refuse to remember Caught in your headlights Like a frightened animal Oh, you must remember Remember, remember And long nights I try hard To not remember And you Too Beautiful I can't look I've done so Very many Stupid things It's too late I remember fade out on that one my god so uh there it is more so you must please remember uh a single version and actually while i was doing that i was thinking why not also listen to the al uh, alternative version the vocal Maravel demo i want to say i apologize anyway because why the hell not so anyway let me just uh, set, set that up for a second so yeah as i got that going now uh i might as well just say off the top with the first version i listened to obviously it's aggressive uh morsey's vocals he almost sounds like he's 
he's plotting something. Uh, he sounds, it sounds dark. I mean, it o almost kind of gives me such a, a dark feeling, something like a song you would listen to at night. Uh, I don't know why that comes to mind, but it does. Uh, it's very um, brooding, I guess you would say. And again, that's kind of what I got from uh, South Paul Grammar. There were some dark songs on there, I, I, I thought. Um, but uh, yeah, just, I don't know, it gave me such a dark feeling. And uh, I really enjoyed that part, though, I have to say. And, uh, you know, again, Morrissey sounded like this. His vocal, um, I have to say, vocals are very strong. And, um, and again, he just sounds like he's getting ready to pull something on somebody. I don't know. It's just, it's just like he's plotting something. That's what really came to my mind. But um, anyway, I'll go more into the lyrics and such after I do this one. So anyway, here we go again. You must please remember Morrissey, the other version. And uh, I guess a more stripped back version. So let's, let's go with this one. Because why not? I got time. Baseline. A small boy, big ideas you must please remember. Ooh. A long road with no turn or fall, you must remember. That baseline, my God. Lights like a frightened man. I do remember Someone cries And you think quite rightly so But you refuse to remember Caught in your headlights Like a frightened animal You must
Okay, okay. I'm glad I listened to this one too, I have to say. So there it is again. <laughs> Morrissey, you must please remember. Uh, vocal Maravel demo. I apologize again. How Marie Maravel? My goodness. Anyway, there we go. Um, so like I was saying, I knew, you know, I saw people talk about uh, when I searched the song up in the lyrics and stuff, um, that this version, like I said, was stripped back, uh, was more of an acoustic thing, more of a goddamn bass thing here. Good Lord. Johnny Bridgewood is on the bass on this one and on the other one, I guess. Um, but oh my God, his, his bass line is so prominent. Uh, I think I said at one point during there, just that, that bass line. Good Lord. Um, and, and I love the little, the simple cymbal crashes. I love Morrissey's voice here. Because, again, in the other one, he's very aggressive. He's very um, dark and brooding. And, you know, I guess that feeling is still here. The song is still haunting, I would say. Uh, and, again, he's, he still sounds like he's up to no good or he's up to something. And, uh, and again, because he talks about you must please remember. And, again, I don't know if I have everything, um, if I know really what he's meaning by that. Uh, I guess if I'll take it. Uh, better look at the lyrics soon but anyway um but yeah he just sounds you know it sounds haunting and it's like <laughs> his voice is so soft in this one and maybe i might like this version more than the other one i don't know why um i just i, I that's what i'm saying i like his soft voice i like almost like a there's a sexiness to him uh to his voice in this track i have to say um and again i like how his words are barely barely escaping his mouth like he's just kind of almost saying the words it's just i don't know they're just falling out of his lips and uh just so softly just so um i don't know it's it, I, it just kind of got me that's what i said at one part you know near the end i just love that you know <laughs> just his voice just so soft and uh you know gentle and uh, i was just kind of taken aback on that part but uh yeah i really enjoyed this version too and uh and again you know whatever your po when you pick your poison do you like the more aggressive version do you like the softer version again you know it's just it's, they went in very different kind of directions musically i would say um but yeah i really enjoyed this whole kind of stripped down thing on this one i have to say good lord uh anyway i was <laughs> this was good i have to say my goodness i really enjoyed that good lord i i didn't know i was gonna enjoy it as much as i did um i was just uh elated um anyway so uh you know there we go yeah the both versions are there because why not so a small boy big ideas again this is the thing that Morrissey has talked about before in his writing. Um, you know, he's talked about, you know, he's a, he's not like a small boy, but again, he's coming from, you know, a boy coming from a town, you know, a small boy in a small town, whatever, but he's got big ideas. He's got big plans. This kind of a thing has happened before in his songs. Anyway, a small boy, big ideas. You must please remember a long road with no off turn or no turn off, I should say. And uh, I just love that too. These lines, you know, right off the bat, kind of poignant as hell and uh, a long road with no turn off. It's just like, ooh, that's not good. Oh, you must remember, caught in your headlights like a frightened animal, you must remember. And again, I don't know if he's talking about himself being caught in someone's headlights like a frightened animal. Not literally. I don't think he got run over by a truck or something. But um, yeah, just kind of that whole thing of, you know, a naive boy caught in someone's headlights. You know, you must please remember. Someone cries twice nightly. Of course, I do remember. Someone cries and you think quite rightly so. Uh, but you refuse to remember. Again, you refuse to remember. You refuse to remember what? Uh, you refuse to remember that someone cries twice nightly um, or what you did to this person to make them cry. I don't know. That just, these things that come to my mind because there isn't too many things when you search up, I guess, um, the meaning of the track. But uh, anyway, caught in your headlights like a frightened animal. Oh, you must remember. And then you remember, remember, oh, remember, remember. Low lights and long nights. I like that. <laughs> Again, it's simple, but I like that line. Low lights and long nights. I try hard to not remember and you too beautiful i can't look again just i get he <laughs> you just feel for the guy i mean my god too beautiful i can't even look it's just it's gonna break his heart whatever uh and again low lights and long nights uh, just describing maybe his night again uh why he cries twice nightly whatever uh because he can't have the one he wants to have um please 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 let me get what i want um i've done so very many stupid things it's too late and then the oh remember repeated on and i have seen you know some comments talking about how the, it seems like it's repeated too many times um and i guess i can get that i i would figure actually in the first the first version i reacted to uh um, I guess where you could find that it gets repetitive, whatever. But I guess, again, for me, it was just like the outro. You could just tell it was the outro. And uh, and they were just going off by the end of it. But in the second version, I felt like it fit very well. Uh, maybe it fit better, I guess, in the second version for me anyway. And again, maybe it's just because of his soft delivery, uh, which I just found, uh, you know, glorious. I don't know. <laughs> 
But anyway, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to pause there again just to have another listen to the you know, single version of the song too and uh, just see if I wanted to say anything else. But again, obviously a very punchy, a punchier version of the song uh, rather than the second version I listened to, which again is just so gentle. And, um, and again, just talking about the whole thing of the small town boy uh, with big dreams. It's almost like, you know, please remember that I'm a small town boy with big dreams or big ideas, whatever. And, uh, you know, please don't go too hard on me, whatever. And also just talking about regrets. I, you know, just also mentioned to, uh, or add on to what I was saying earlier about what the song could be about. Um, you know, talking about regrets, talking about facing those regrets you still might have, those old mistakes that kind of plague you and just trying to get over that stuff. <coughs> My God, just trying to get over, um, whatever has plagued you and, um, and just trying to move on with your life. But like I said, you know, talk of reflection here, talk of remorse, talk of regrets, uh, all these R words, I guess. And um, just, again, thinking about how remembering these memories, these mistakes, but also remembering, I would think, too, like the good memories, the things that are, you know, happened to you that were good. And uh, but again, Morrissey really just kind of going intensely in on the bad things that have happened or his regrets and his mistakes and uh, a very introspective view here, which uh, I would expect nothing less from uh, Maz on this one. But uh, yeah, uh, very intriguing, I have to say. And uh, I guess that's all I'm going to say. Is there anything else I really need to speak about? No, not really. Um, just again, just talking about moving on from your personal struggles, your past struggles, your past mistakes, whatever it is that plagues you. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed both versions here, like I said. And uh, very, very good. My goodness, I'm glad I did both because why not? So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, the sun has gone down since I started this video. My goodness. So anyway, thanks again. I'll talk to you guys again soon.